Have you ever wanted such a cheap plane which works perfectly? Today I'm going to show you how to do it. So, you want to go to AliExpress and buy this £3 plane, including shipping from China. It takes around two weeks to arrive, but it will be worth it. Plus, it looks pretty, pretty good. Here is the Japanese plane in person. As you can tell, the pictures do not lie. It looks pretty good. And it looks pretty traditional Japanese. One bad thing is though, the blade has like, a big plastic gunk on it, which we have to remove like, from sharpening. Also, you can see the grinding marks, about half a mil deep grinding marks, which we'll have to get rid of for it to work beautifully and super smooth, fine shavings. To remove the grinding marks and to sharpen it, I'll use a variety of grindstones. I first start in a coarse oil stone, then move all the way up to a 3000 grit whetstone. So for oil stone, you want to oil it quite well. My oil is running out so I put more oil later on but I just brushed it and sharpened it anyway. Also, I recommend buying a honing guide to make it easy for you to sharpen but it's not compulsory because it's just as easy to sharpen without it but I just like them. In my personal opinion, it's easy to go up and down, up and down, up and down. That's all you do. Don't sharpen power tools because you will produce friction which will damage the heat treat of your blade. As you can see, I got rid of the grinding marks. It didn't take too long with the core stone. As also, it might be a burr. To get rid of the burr, you just put your blade flat on the stone and go up and down, up and down. Don't tilt it at an angle because it will damage the blade. Make it deadly flat. And let's get rid of the burr. Also, getting rid of the burr helps create a razor sharp blade. I skipped him and used my finest stone. This is a Japanese pet stone which has been submerged in water for 15 minutes. I haven't changed the angle of my honing guide. This will make a nice razor sharp blade. As you can see, I've got to a mirror polis where it says razor sharp. This will slice all the hairs off your skin. The narrow blade has been sharpened. You want to check your bed, so your bed is flat. If you see the bed is flat, you get a straight rule or straight edge and let's put it across and see if there's any bowing. I can tell there's cupping in the centre. So to get rid of it, all you do is get some sandpaper and rub it along until it's flat. Keep on double checking to make sure, keep on double checking until it's flat and carry on sanding and sanding until it's flat. Check with the ruler. Now for bed is square, you want to check that your frog is square of a plane. To do so, you get your plane blade out and draw lots of graphite lines on it. This should leave a residue on the high points of a frog. Put a blade in normally. But I recommend tapping it in a bit harder than normal though. To get a strong mark that you can chisel off. You put in a previous process quite a few times until the graphite line on the frog is even. So after I've done a little bit, I only try a little bit at a time, and check again, and check again until it's perfect. Now finally, you're ready to try your beautiful plane out. If you did it well, this should work so well. Give a wedge a very small tap 
these planes work so well and a very fine blade protruding out of the frog. This is Ote orange, which is quite a hard wood. You can see, it's saving it so easily. This leaves an absolutely smooth finish on the wood. And this is very hard wood by the way. Osage orange is pretty hard. I would use a bigger bit of wood, but you know, let's rush to and get a small bit to find. A quick spit. Please subscribe, give any tips how I can improve. Subscribing helps. Many thanks guys. Suss girls.